Hey guys, Game Ross here. Welcome to another my budget build guide. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about my poison cast on crit assassin. And for this build to work, you're gonna need this um, Figun amulet. Uh, because it says here your hits can't be evaded by blinded enemies, and that's why you're gonna need this uh, flesh and stone gem aura. Because it says here. Nearby enemies are blinded while in sand stance and it's important that you're gonna change your stance in, into sand and with this combination it means that your hits are 100% on to the enemies and it's perfect to make a critical strike uh, crit build in this uh, setup and with this I'm using uh, Cyclone and Ethereal Knives and Blade Fall. And to begin this guide, I'm gonna talk about my unique items. First is this Disintegrator stuff. And this stuff will give you lots of flat physical damage to spells. And also, like I said, I'm using this Ephigon uh, Amulet. And lastly, I'm using this uh, Ascarm Gloves, which will curse the enemies with level 10 Assassin's Mark on hit. So this is a really good uh, uh, gloves for this build because it will you will make uh, you will deal a critical strike more often and your your skill will hit hard and that's the oh uh, this the last one unique item is this uh, gifts from above diamond ring which will give you lots of global critical strike chance and also. 50% uh, increased damage while on concentrated ground and that's all the unique items that I'm using for the rare items first I'm gonna talk about is this um, uh, body armor my six link and if you're gonna buy your six link make sure it's corrupted so it's gonna be very cheap and if you're gonna buy a six corrupted uh, if you're gonna buy a six link that is corrupted make sure that you have the correct color sockets for the rest of my rare items they are just life and resist and for my flask i'm using at serious promise for more physical damage and for more damage and chaos uh, damage leeches life uh, jade flask for more evasion uh, diamond flask for more crit and quicksilver for more uh, for increased movement speed and for the skill gem i'm using a uh, cyclone with cast on crit uh, control destruction ethereal knives blade fall and 
slow projectile support. Now, if you're gonna buy your six link, try to buy a uh, four four green sockets, one blue, and one red socket, because I think added fire damage is much better than slow projectile support because this will only support ethereal knives and not blade fall because blade fall is not a projectile so yeah i think it's much better if you use added fire damage so again yeah try to get four greens four green one blue and one red socket for your six link and for my gloves i'm using blood rage uh ball haste ball righteous fire and increase duration in my staff i'm using blood and sand leap slam fortify faster cast uh, faster attacks and pre precision uh, this is totally optional because uh, i just have a extra slot on my my stuff so as you can see I'm, it's only level one i'm just using this for that 40 percent increase critical strike chance so yeah it's totally optional uh, in my helmet i'm using war banner projectile weakness reduced ma reduced mana and efficacy and on my boots i have pride flesh and stone uh, summon flame golem and cast when damage is taken For the Pantheon, I'm using Soul of Arakali and Soul of Ralakesh because in in this stuff it, uh, it says here you will take 150 physical damage per second per shifting charge if you've used a skill recently and also with this Blood Rage it says here you will take 4% of your maximum life per second as physical damage so these two uh, pantheon nodes will lessen those damage for my ascendancy i'm using assassin and i'm using unstable infusion and deadly infusion for those crit nodes and i'm using noxious strike and toxic toxic delivery for the poison nodes and for the skill tree i'm using this um, ring of blade jewel so my ethereal knives fire projectile in a nova and i'm using this uh, whisper of doom so i can use these gloves and i can still cast uh, projectile weakness and also try getting this uh, uh, crit node for your staff also this and this um, crit node for your spell and more crit here and more crit multiplier here also here and just try to get those life nodes and yeah that's all i can say about this build guide thank you for watching if you like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you on the next video